We all think of candy for Halloween, but did you know that chocolate milk is actually the official drink of Halloween? Well, I didn't know that until today. We've got popular food blogger Mega Patel. She is here with more from the American Dairy Association Northeast. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me, Elsa. It's a I'm pleasure to be on here. I'm happy to have you here. So happy that I jumped on your um, <laughs> on your welcome there. Sorry about that. But <laughs> tell us about uh, chocolate milk, because I know that parents are going to be happy to know that it's not just this sweet treat that your kids want all the time. It's actually nutrition as well. Yeah, something that a lot of people don't know, not just kids, adults as well, is that chocolate milk actually has a lot of nutrients, protein, calcium. So not just is it tasty, but it's also really good for you. So it's a win-win on both ends. And if we're planning on serving up some hot chocolate for Halloween, um, you've got some Halloween uh, angle spins that we can do to just make it yeah. a little bit fun. Yeah, I have three recipes for you guys. I'm just going to quickly show you. And they're so much fun. You can get the kids involved. So let me just show you. Let's get started. Okay. Our first one we have over here is the peanut butter chocolate whip. It is so delicious. Peanut butter chocolate milk dip. So it's basically using three ingredients. We're, we're using chocolate milk. We're using a little bit of gelatin. Comes in a small pack, very easy to get from your grocery store. And you need some peanut butter. And it takes about 10 minutes to make. And it's super easy. It's nice and creamy from the chocolate milk. But then when you add the gelatin and when you whip it, it's like a it kind of tastes like whipped cream almost. It's so good. It's thick. It's rich. And, Loose. you know, kids and adults both love it. So it's excellent to serve during Halloween. Right. Yeah. It reminds me of a mousse sort of maybe. Is it? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So it's really good. It's, it's yeah. so delicious. I mean, I was sipping on this like all day yesterday as I was making yes. it. So, <laughs> so good. <laughs> and I love that it only takes 10 minutes to make. That's great. Can your next one? Yeah. You know, you, if you're trying to get kids involved in the kitchen, you don't want to have recipes that are yeah. hours long. So this is the perfect uh, drink to have during Halloween. <laughs> yeah, get them in and out. And that's exactly what I was going to ask you. Is the next one just as fast? <laughs> oh, um, yes. Because all you need is a blender and a couple of ingredients. And you have this Witch's brew, it's kind of like a smoothie. If you can see that it has layers. Yeah. So we have like a chocolate layer and we have a green layer. Do you want to guess what the green layer is? I have no idea. The food dye, pistachio, I have no idea. Spinach? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so the chocolate layer is obviously chocolate milk. You guessed yeah. it. Strawberries. Um, we have a little bit of vanilla yogurt. But then the green layer is the fun part. It's healthy. It's bananas. And the green is coming from the avocado. Oh, and matcha yeah. powder we have some cinnamon so it's really healthy um once again it's in disguise you can't tell that it's made up of all these healthy ingredients but it's really good um fun to layer on and it just looks so pretty it really does it looks fun and it's way better <laughs> of an ingredient than what i was suggesting so thank you for that <laughs> Yeah. I mean, pistachios are a good option, but you know, avocados are so easy. Everyone loves avocados and they're creamy and, and it adds to the texture. And it's yeah. going to take the flavor of the chocolate too. So it's not going to taste super avocado. Exactly. Exactly. Smooth and creamy. Yeah. So very good. Right. Um, it's a mix of everything. So it's so good. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then our last one. Yeah. So our last one is I'm sure everyone knows about this. It went viral last year. So we have our mummy bombs. So these are hot cocoa bombs. Um, it, they're super simple to make. They're so cute. So we're using white chocolate over here and we have like little um, chocolate chips as eyes and they're supposed to be mummies. So I'm sure a lot of people know that last year, you know, these uh, cocoa bombs went viral. Um, Everyone was making them. You can make them for any season, but for Halloween, they're so much fun. And the best part is that you can put whatever you want in them. So in here, I have some chocolate, I have some cocoa mix and some mini marshmallows. The best part is that you can get some warm milk. So I'm just gonna show you guys as we go through it. We just need a mug. We need to put one of these hot cocoa bombs in our mug and then we get some hot chocolate milk mm -hmm. and we just pour it right in. I hope you guys can oh, see this. I'll show you guys it. Yeah, that's going to be decadent. That's going to be a really good treat. Yeah, so it's so delicious and it's fun for the kids to make. And it's a surprise. It feels like a little bit of an experiment, you know, where they, they put in the, the witch's brew and then all of a sudden you got this wonderful concoction. So that's a lot of fun. If we want to get some Halloween recipes, where should we go? 
Yes, definitely go to www.americandairy.com slash Halloween. They have all the recipes, including the ones I just showed you with the full instructions, full details, and many more. All right, Mega Patel, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.